I'm going to be tweaking my mom's laptop into a gaming laptop and seeing how much FPS it can run. All right, so we are in creative. And as you guys can see, we are running around 30, 20 FPS kind of. Yeah, so this game can like just not run that well. So I'm going to try to tweak it to get at least 60 FPS as 60 is playable. But I'm going to try to get it to 120 because this laptop is not that old. And I'm pretty sure it can run 120 FPS. All right, so we are on any desk now. So right here is the laptop screen. So first thing I want to do is check the game user settings to make sure that a lot of its stuff is fully optimized. All right, control R, do temp and percent. Click OK. Over here, local. You want to find Fortnite game right here. Save, config. Windows client and game user settings. So I'm gonna just use the game user settings that I have and just replace it fully. So right here, I'm gonna just do control A, delete discord. And I have it right here. If you guys are also interested in using my game user settings, which is like pretty optimized. So let me do this right now. I just copy and paste that and bring it over here. And as you guys can see, these are the tweak settings for it. So yeah these are the pretty good ones so show grass is obviously on false now uh, a lot of stuff here i do have it fully tweaked so it is good for your game uh, a lot of its quality is probably gonna go down but it's gonna help your performance a lot so click save as you can x out and also make sure to have it on read only so it doesn't change apply okay and that's what we're doing for game user settings all right, so the next thing I want to do is just make sure the graphic settings are on high priority for Fortnite. So just go to graphic settings. All right, so we don't have Fortnite. So let me just find Fortnite game and add it to our graphic settings so it's on high performance. All right, so right here we have fortnite all these right here as you guys can see so you're gonna have all four of these options right here you guys just want to have it on fortnite client win 64 and right here the first one just add it right there and over here it's gonna add it and just click on high performance and that's all for the graphic settings all right so the next thing i want to do is download cc cleaner as this laptop has a ton of files that is just straight up trash and it's probably going to be affecting the performance so i'm going to get cc cleaner to just clean it all up all right guys once you downloaded cc cleaner make sure to just start your pc's health check all right once that is done as you guys can see it says your pc feels under weather meaning there is a ton of junk and files that they're going to remove as you guys can see, 1,483 megabytes of junk. So to remove it, just make it make it better. And it's just going to remove all these files. All right, once that is done, as you guys can see, they remove the junks, everything. And yeah, that's just really nice since it just makes your PC run faster. All right, so the next thing actually comes from my FPS pack. As I'm using the stuff that works on my laptop in attempt for it to work on this laptop. All right, once you have it open, just open it up. Go to Fortnite Tweaks and just run high power Fortnite. Just click yes, click OK, and run optimization. And I'm just going to tell you the ones that you should be running. So for sure, you want to disable unnecessary services in the background. So just click that. Optimize all window settings. Disable game bar. CPU optimization. This thing is actually really nice. And that's about it. Uh, other ones also help, but I don't want to overload it since I'm not sure if this laptop can handle all of that. So that's all I'm going to be using for now. So I'm going to be checking the power options to make sure it's on high performance. So let me do that right now. Edit a power plan. All right, we have on FPS, but I'm not sure if this one was the balance one that I made a few ago. So I'm going to just create a new one just to make sure. High performance. Click on never on all of these and just create and simple. 
all right guys the next one we're going to be doing is on park control so on the top make sure to have it on the performance plan that you just made and then just enable all of these right here and just click apply it's just that simple and it does help release your cores and just makes your game overall better all right so i just done some simple tweaks we're gonna see how much fps we get since i don't want to overload this with like more tweaks so yeah we're gonna be checking uh fortnite and see how much fps we can get now all right so after all these tweaks as you guys can see we are getting around 250 fps that's actually crazy but we are on performance mode compared to when we first downloaded Fortnite. It was not on performance mode. So maybe that was the major difference. But these tweaks did help get a lot of FPS as you guys can see. This thing is actually a beast. And I'm surprised that it can even get this much FPS. So I would say this is a success. And yeah, 